Hi, this is um, Pastor Wes Johnson from the Jefferson Red Rock United Methodist Churches, just sharing another one of the, the Living in Uncertain Times vlogs that I'm doing. Um, you know, we consider living through COVID-19 as living in uncertain times, don't we? But the reality is that we always live in uncertain times. Even we will be living in uncertain times even after COVID-19. You know, we never know what the next day or even, even the next hour is going to bring us. My life completely changed in January of 1994 when I received a call from the coroner in Rochester, Minnesota, asking if my father's name was George Johnson. That's a shock to hear that. You know, and the coroner proceeded to, to say that he was sorry to inform me that my father had died of a heart attack. And they did everything they could to revive him. And then for the next weeks, maybe even months, my schedule, my priorities, well, they completely changed. And, and, and my life completely changed when I received a call after a Wednesday Lenten night uh, when we were in Marshall here in 2012. And I heard on that call that my youngest son was taken to the emergency room. I didn't really fully understand or realize how much my life is going to change until the next day and even the next week revealed that he had severe acute pancreatitis and would nearly die and his life was going to be changed forever and my life was certainly changed and for the next months even a year or two my schedule my priorities had to completely change you see our lives changed, yes, with COVID-19, and we are uncertain of the next day, but that is true all the time. When I got those calls, I had schedules, I had plans, but now they had to change. The disciples clearly lived in uncertain times when Jesus was arrested and crucified. It became even more uncertain when they heard from the women that Jesus' body was not at the tomb. What does Jesus say to us when we live in uncertain times? Well, let's look at the account of what he said to the two of his followers on the night of his resurrection as they traveled by foot to a town called Emmaus. We pick up the story in Luke chapter 24, starting at verse 17. Um, he comes up to them and he says to them, What are you discussing together as you walk along? And they stood still. Uh, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? Well, what things, he asked. Well, about Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He, he was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. And the chief priests and our rulers, they handed him over to be sentenced to death and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They, they went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. And they came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. And he said to them, how foolish you are. And how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? <laughs> and beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. Boy, what amazing, what amazing time to have heard what Jesus had said and how he explained all these things that had happened, how he explained how God was involved with all of this, how God was sovereign in the midst of it all, that God had planned all of this. You know, when we live in uncertain times, we need to look at those things that are certain. Jesus doesn't try to soothe their worry and sadness. Jesus doesn't try to hype them up. But what does Jesus do? He calls them to their attention, God's word and God's promises. Jesus explains to them that God is fully in control even in this uncertain time. And in Jesus assures them God's plan will always be carried out even in this uncertain time. 
And so as we live in this uncertain time and in the uncertainty of earth or life beyond COVID-19, look to what is certain. Look, first of all, to God's word. Secondly, look to God's sovereign control over all that happens. And thirdly, look to God's perfect plan and know that it will come about no matter what. May we learn that through this time to trust in God's certainty at all times, in all circumstances. Pastor Wes Johnson, Peace and Towels. Encourage you to, to check on um, uh, Facebook Live and the Jeffers United Methodist Church site tomorrow at 10 o'clock. It's a live time. We're going to study Daniel chapter 6. See you then.